welcome to part three of uh, packing the bike for a long trip. So uh, today we're going to go over a few different configurations and some things we didn't go in the other other two. So we'll go back over here. Um, I'm almost ready for another bigger trip. Um, so you saw this last time, and the only thing we I did here is I I took out the toolbox and the the first aid kit and I paired them down to the smaller portions and I'll show you the smaller first aid kit but I paired them down to something smaller so that uh, we can have extra room. Uh, longer trips you need more room. Uh, the uh, You have to have this. Um, most Harleys have a shock uh, absorbers that are air compressed so if you have an extra rider you want to set the uh, put more air in there. Um, be careful if you put too much air in, uh, you will uh, blow up your shocks. But anyhow, so you hook this on, you just pump, and you check this. I check this every couple days. Okay. Uh, the other thing I did was the um, <clears throat> uh, the chaps that I showed you. I just put them in this Walmart dry bag. Uh, you know, if it's raining, I have to get things in and out. I just don't want my leather to get uh, wet. So that's basically, and you can see I can fit everything else in here really good. I may have an, a pair of tennis shoes down here when it's cooler weather, um, thongs if it's really hot. Um, most of the time we're out in hot weather. So let me get, let me get you over here. Uh, these are gel cushions, one for my wife. And one for me. And if you're in a long distance ride, these get really hot in the sun, so don't leave them out. Uh, besides, somebody is stealing. So, um, yeah, probably not. Who knows? Uh, these things, we just take them in uh, to wherever we're eating lunch, put them on a chair, set on them. Uh, it serves a couple purposes. My wife has a little admin box here. She puts um, her phone in here. Um, pins, a, a pad of paper. Um, it's not full right now, but there's a. this gets pretty well stuffed. I've got a tire gauge in here. Uh, keys go in there. All sorts of stuff gets uh, packed in there. So she has access to it. She also has this little uh, Dilly Bob here hook that she can hook onto her phone or something so that uh, it doesn't fly off when she's uh, trying to work on things. Um, <clears throat> Let me show you over here. These aren't packed yet, but usually um, in this bag here, we have, you know, right now I just got a pair of gloves in there, but I usually have um, a couple little snacks for me. Um, we have a dry bag with uh, sun lotion. Um, you know, especially if you're driving into the sun, you're going to get burnt. So you want as much of that stuff as you can. Um, I'm not sure what else we put in here. We put a bunch of stuff in here. Um, so, stuff that you want to get to really uh, often. These, this little pa uh, little container here for water bottle, um, I use this all the time. And I get, I've gotten to where I can grab it and drink on the go and put it back without even looking. Um, this comes with a Harley water bottle, but I use just the Walmart um, bottles with the pop tops where I can open it up with my teeth, squirt it, and put it back in, and we, we, I mix it with uh, crystal light. Um, same thing on the other side for my wife. Uh, it's a little bit harder for her to grab it out of there because her legs are down here. So, Okay, so that, that covers all of that. Let me uh, go on to her side. <clears throat> so I don't have a lot of uh, her, her clothes like... Uh, she usually have a hoodie and everything else in here. I only have a few things in here, but there's we put a couple of extra pairs of shoes down in there. Um, this is her rain gear. She'll have a um, a hoodie and everything else that you saw that I had in here. Um, uh, this thing, scroll back here. This thing is a nice little bag that uh, she ordered. If you take a look inside here, what we usually do is we fill this up with uh, bags, 
uh, zip bags of ice at any 7-Eleven or uh, convenience store. Put a bunch of waters in here, um, cheese sticks, all sorts of stuff. This stays cold almost all day long. And so when we, when we get to an, another stop, we check the ice. If it's melted, we dump out the water and we get more ice at the next place. Uh, very good. You can see that this is a lot of space for, for food. But if we're going long distance, we pair this down with something smaller, similar, insulated, uh, but very much smaller so she can put more clothes in here. Um, so your containers can be big if you go in short distance or you know a couple days. Uh, if you're going multiple weeks, you want smaller items. It's you know it's not how you would think it would go. Okay, um, trying to go a little bit faster here. Some people told me that that video was long and boring. Um, mostly me. Uh, I was a lot long and boring. I watched it and it was like, yeah, uh, yeah, click off this really, really fast. So um, try to get through here and show you just the pertinent stuff. I'll get better at this as we go. Um, I like, if you take a look at this, I like, I like, most of the time, like I told you, we're in hot weather and I like half helmets. Half helmets keep me cool. I can hear, I can listen to uh, music and I can turn it down when I want to hear something. Half helmets are great. I love them. Um, you know, people tell me they're not uh, all that safe, but you know, you got you got some protection better than anything. Um, I like the visor on the top. This is really nice. But if it's raining or cold, um, going at 60, 70 miles an hour, or 50 miles an hour, even 30 miles an hour, if it's super cold, we had a couple 40 degree nights, where, uh, mornings actually. We were going, and this would not cut it. Uh, I was freezing. Now, I've got a head sock that I could put on under this, but still, um, if you're going to go out like we are to Maine, you're going to want something more than this. Now, my wife has a three-quarter helmet. we got a, a face sock for her if she wants to uh, put that on. Um, but I carry an extra helmet, and this is a do-it-yourself bag. It's kind of dirty, so I might redo this bag. Um, I carry an extra helmet. Let me show you. Um, so basically, I have this little strap here because uh, these are kind of big netting. So um, I'll take this off for you. And I'll show you how I put this stuff away. And this is a this is a trip for two. So net just comes off pretty easy watch out so this thing doesn't fall um, watch out for your CB radio okay so this is a homemade uh, homemade um, bag wet bag you can see you really want to burn the ends of your paracord because when it's when you're going 70 miles an hour, you may think it's a nice clean cut, but guess what? Over time, that's what it looks like. So just burn these. I'm just going to cut these and burn them. But let me uh, show you, give you a little review of this helmet. Um, these Harley helmets really do run small. So if you think you take a medium, get a super extra triple, extra large bucket head. Um, I kept on trying this on, trying it on, trying it on. I kept on going up, and I was like, "Wow, man, there must be something wrong with my head." But so all this is is a garbage can, a garbage liner that I cut so it's shorter. I just cut little holes. I threaded this through here. You see? Um, there you go. Nice and cheap, functional. There's the other helmet. I keep all my wires and stuff in here, and um, I I don't know why I keep this in this. So all my extra wires are in here, so um, the mic and everything. So uh, let me give you a little review of this helmet. This is really good. I really like this helmet. I don't wear it unless it's cold or raining. Uh, when it's raining. Put a, a little rain guard liquid on here, and the wearing just uh, comes off. 
is you can see um, you got this case, this here. Um, there's a button here where I can just move this up, and I have shades. You see the shades? Very, very cool. So uh, this is a good helmet, uh, three quarter. I cannot wear a full face helmet. I, I would be claustrophobic. I, I, it's like like being in a coffin. I don't know how you guys do it, but uh, anyhow. So very easy. Um, let me put this over here. This is a nice rain guard here. I don't have it buttoned down that great. So, this is the luggage on top. We keep a lot of things we want, uh, a lot of clothes. Uh, you know, you're going for a long trip, you want, you want all this stuff in here. So, uh, so usually I just, it's got a pocket on each side, and I put my, my net in this pocket. Alright, this piece of luggage is nice. Uh, there's little holes here that I can I actually strap it uh, on each four corner with an additional bungee just to make sure it doesn't, you know, it's pretty stable. Let's go over this side and see this pocket. And of course, I use this pocket for the rain tarp. Rain tarp has a little reflective thing in there, so it's kind of nice. Um, this, if you, um, this is a, just a bike lot. Um, I don't have it hooked up here, but it's it's an additional, um, it's additional lock, just so that people just can't take this off. Very cheap, just a cable lock. Any Walmart, any 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 store, it's right through these plastic deals. So you know, if it, somebody wanted this, they could take it. I don't put anything valuable in here. Well, yeah, I say that, but who knows? Uh, let's come over here. In this, I have some. You want to get out of your boots? Um, these are older ones, but if you want to get out of your boots and you you just use these. Bongs. Um, kickstand, uh, thick gravel or uh, soft sand. Uh, we went to my wife's papa's house and he had some soft sand. So uh, this distributes the weight. It's better than a pop can. Um, I suggest getting this. The only problem is you need to have this thing out before you go and park. So, you know, you can just have this just in here. Or, Whatever. Um, usually, I put a lot more in here than what I'm showing you. This is the pared down first aid kit. Uh, no need in going in over this. I've got a tourniquet. I've got some neosporin, some alcohol patches, gauze, uh, band aids. Okay, so here I have from the Hog membership. You you always get this really cool uh, map. And I've got it uh, already tabbed for different um, states I was going through. I also take a look at all of the um, laws of these states, and I put them on my smartphone so I know what the different laws that, uh, you know, motorcycle laws and uh, if, you, if you're a gun owner, what gun laws or whatever, that for the different states you're riding through. You need to know that before you take off on a ride because... Um, you may think everything's great, and guess what? Uh, you find yourself uh, on a totally different trip when you um, get done. So, um, let me show you what's inside here. Well, so I'll just show you this. Mostly, mostly there's clothes in here. So this is all of our electronics. Um, you know, uh, all the cables, everything we, we put in this little bag. Uh, my wife's. Uh, my wife's uh, my iPad mini. 
Um, I can use this. We can get on the internet. We can do everything we need on that. I also have a Asus tablet that sometimes I bring, sometimes I don't. That smartphone does everything. Um, little Kindle, right? This is the older one um, in this little case here. Um, so this, I like to read. I'm a sci-fi fantasy nut um, at night, and I am a uh, multi-decade Bible reader in the morning. So that comes out. It's just strapped. Sometimes I jump, uh, bungee it down. They say 10 pounds, I'm usually at 15, so uh, I'd only start worrying if I was at 20, but I'm, I'm about 15 pounds on the top here. Uh, they say, I don't know how, how many pounds here, but I know I'm over this. We haven't had a problem. Um, so right here, I have uh, another piece of luggage. Um, you know, if you have to put something away, this little nice 511 tactical container, you could put something away here. Um, here's my book. This has got uh, my hog membership and everything else. This is the owner's manual of the bike. It tells you how to, if you lose your key, how to start it with the code, everything like that. Um, don't write your code anywhere. Just memorize it. Um, usually I put all my insurance stuff in, in here, but this isn't waterproof. A uh, little plastic bag will, will solve that. Um, this holds, I won't go through this, but this holds Usually it's way too heavy. This holds all of our clothes, both of our sets of clothes, including some of the stuff at the top. Um, hair dryers, everything you really need. And that's, uh, that's, that's our packing for a long distance trip, part three of three. So stay tuned for the main trip um, series, and we'll see you later.